Hi Virgos, thank you for joining me here for your reading. I have an exciting one today. We're going to go ahead and cover an array of astral travel messages for you and then we're going to go ahead and uh, like overlay this with the tarot portion of the read but there's a whole bunch of astral messages to get through first so we're going to go ahead and do that. So we're going to start at the beginning and you were basically on this in this field i would say you had your childhood home in the background so spirit was kind of giving me context in regards to your upbringing and how that could play into factors in your love life and um, there being some kind of power play dynamics that i'm about to explain so you were meditating on jupiter energy as you were gazing under the night star uh, night sky right and Jupiter is all about how you gain wisdom through experience and how that can be applied into your worldview and it changes the way that you see the world which changes the world that you see right so there's just a lot that's going on in regards to you getting ready to bring that wisdom that you've gained through experience put that into practice so that you can expand and broaden your horizons now as this was happening from a mother figure which represents the moon and the moon is not a celestial light source it's actually a reflection of the sun therefore it's a projection and people the moon was trying to project upon you saturn energy you were meditating on jupiter and from the external projections you know people are asking virgos why don't you focus on saturn energy what is saturn saturn is about limits restrictions it's about how you commit yourself to the long-term vision but it's also about karmic cycles right it's about your karma so i'm going to go ahead and decode all of this for you so again saturn energy is about almost seeking um, advice from any of the above figures like power play dynamics saturn is about authority figures so again with there being the moon there this could be about a mother energy it also could just just be about how your upbringing kind of played into the qualities or traits that you chose to um, invest into in terms of partnerships and having some kind of karmic cycle breakout and then recognizing the pattern okay now there's just a lot that was going on there so the mother also shows about again investments and commitments around you wanting to nurture something but it also is an area of your life that you feel restricted or limited or bound by ch karmic chains in regards to you so the mother is very familiar okay the mother is this innate ability to want to care and tend and try to fix right and yeah try to fix um karmic cycles so maybe this is your past and you're trying to feel like you know you could fix somebody or you could change some kind of dynamic and saturn or shani is the lord of karma and justice so it's a going to be a time of righteousness for you as you're stepping away from those karmic cycles and you're realizing that you are choosing not to take on other people's karma right because the change must come from within you can't really help somebody that doesn't want to help themselves so i feel like a lot of you were left with no other option but to walk away from some of these partnerships that had these power play dynamics and yeah it looks like you're kind of getting justice here in 2024 for whatever it is that went on and saturn is the voice that says you know you'll never be good at that so maybe someone was trying to project upon you um because of their own like feelings of being limited and restricted their own doubts and fears around maybe relationships in general or just how you show up in partnerships maybe this is something that has kind of um, affected you in some way especially in the subconscious side of things and saturn tests you to push your limits it also rules over time and again this is about your long-term commitments so some of you could be dealing with people from different planes of consciousness and just how they see the world in general and again it's like you're being very disciplined when it comes to practicing commitment and committing yourself to the long-term vision and not being led astray despite maybe feeling like you know it's a part of you that has to accept challenge in order to gain wisdom because there's something around like saturn and jupiter working together for you during this time that is going to be beneficial especially with saturn and pisces again you're committing to your vision dreams and aspirations during this time and you are meditating on jupiter energy which again almost indicates that you have universal luck on your side right now and that you're being blessed by success because of your actions and how you've chosen to 
continue to commit yourself to your dreams and aspirations and not be led astray from that despite people trying to project things upon you in regards to your ability to be able to nurture and care and tend to to like that direction in life and again it's a time where you're really just taking charge and you're making a decision around your course of life and you know which continuum you want to be on okay and what awaits you so again there was just a lot of things that were going on there now as um this like person that wasn't really invited to the camp that kind of just like invited themselves in um brought like an led light and you know he was kind of a shining this upon like where you were kind of stargazing at this point laying on the field ground and it was actually keeping you and everyone at the campsite warm so yeah there's something around a very passionate time that could be coming uh forward for you especially when it comes to you like this being a good omen for like closeness between you and a new romantic partner camping also symbolizes a need for relaxation and escape so there could be a part of you that wants to find some kind of inner peace maybe connect with nature during this time and mainly kind of retreat to that initial sanctuary to focus on self-discovery and expir exploration during this time okay after that there was a short scene of a girl fighting with a boy and the boy was kind of cornering her, cornering her in the like again corner of the boxing ring and um she, you know she was telling him to stop but he wouldn't and he punched her in the nose and then she had a nosebleed so basically it just shows that boxing in the astral is about physical mental mental discipline and being able to quite literally fight your way through life and boxing also represents like a pent up emotion that you could have all right or stress that you may be holding on to that you need to release so this could be to do with like how certain dynamics played out and type of like power pop play, play like roles that were going on and i feel like this really stemmed from someone's own doubts and fears um and somebody being intimidated by you in some way especially as you ascend or you started to outgrow some kind of partnership right there's just something around that that you were no longer in resonance with this person and they saw you looking down to them even though like you weren't i just feel like there was like a spiritual hierarchy there in some kind of way that you could have been aware of or maybe you weren't but looking back in hindsight you may be more aware of now what plane of consciousness someone was operating on anyway um after that there was themes around people talking about valentine's day and they were talking about a hidden truth so i went to go and google like the historic facts on valentine's day and saint valentine would perform marriages with secret young lovers ultimately leading to his death he married lovers in secret and was killed for treason treason upon discovery of this act and it was almost like a beautiful tragedy so i feel like you're actually seeing that something that appears to be of little substance or value can be alchemized and transformed into great substance and value and that's what jupiter is and that's what saturn is when they work together like saturn is all about ha the karmic cycles that can play out sometimes okay through life and realizing that you have to continue to accept challenge in order to be able to gain wisdom and wisdom can only be given to those through experience but it comes at a cost but if you can find out the purpose for the pain then you can profit from it so a lot of you are realizing you know what everything means all right what all these past experiences that you kind of went through mean and how that's playing into the bigger story of your life especially when it comes to the resistance making you stronger okay all right then there was themes around talking about healing and health and as you were talking like about saturn energy so they were asking you like are you sure and somebody said well it depends who you ask and they said check your mars they said it depends on the Mars placement. And again, Mars is about anger and um, almost like war, right? Aries, the god of war. So there's something around you maybe checking in on yourself and your Mars placement and see if there's like resentment that you're still holding from these past karmic contracts that have played out that needs to be released because it could have an effect on the body and spirit, especially as you hold on to pent up emotions. It's like you're not gonna go anywhere while you're still holding on to these lower dense vibration frequencies. It's like having a flat tire and expecting to go somewhere. It's like the car's not gonna go anywhere until the tires change, you know, until like you change the way that you feel about a situation or circumstance and you're able to release resentment because it's like drinking poison and hoping that it kills your enemies okay 
now the dream goes to a whole nother level so this is just like the beginning of the past and how that's leading you here now we're getting more towards <laughs> like transitioning from the past to the present okay so there was this girl going down an escalator to meet a guy dreams of escalators can refer to the idea of time it goes forward without any conditions for going back you need to keep moving and fo and follow your dreams in order for them to come true he had a gift waiting for you at the bottom of that escalator and he was about to offer you like this box exposing how it is that he felt it was almost like you were going to open Parandora's box and something was going to be revealed to you then you ended up like transitioning onto almost like you can imagine Alice following the white rabbit going down the rabbit hole. It's almost like that kind of element that was coming through because there was this power play role dynamic that was being shown from someone from your past and somebody having not the greatest intentions for you, maybe trying to take advantage of you in some kind of way, trying to use you and it could have been from like an unconscious standpoint or viewpoint, but it was a very like low vibrational connection of some kind where this person felt almost like this element of obsession about you or just something very very awful eerie about that certain connection and it was like an old manager or boss which again shows me like Saturn energy like authority figures and how they may try to assert their power over you in some kind of way um but really it almost just stems from the ego so anyway um you decided to follow this man because he was inviting you into his office space for like a meeting and he was almost like there was just something around it where he was like going down this slide and you wanted to see where it is that he was going right because you thought you were meant to follow him for a meeting so you went down this slide slides in the astral represent something that you've been ignoring for too long in regards to your emotions and they're building up and they're starting to manifest in a form of emotional overload in your life and this is to do with karmic cycles that have played out in the past and how that plays a role in your present moment right this wouldn't show up in the present energy if the past wasn't affecting you right now so on the way down you saw other karmic contracts that you had been played out between you and other people in this lifetime you get down to the bottom of the slide the man's nowhere in sight but there's almost like you know when you play like fortnite or any other games and you're playing with like other people and there's gameplay and you see like the x on the screen from like the other characters that you're supposed to like link up with or like you know you're on some kind of mission together anyway you saw like an x on the screen of where he was located so you were like following that x it was almost like this video game vibe and you were looking for the truth it's like you would there was this air of like mystery around it you know when you cross paths with like a soul contract that you're supposed to complete there's almost this air of mystery around curiosity that kills the cat so you went to go and follow this man and then you ended up in the room and people were holding you hostage and they were almost trying to clone you okay and they were trying to make another you because they knew that you were going to access out of that realm and ascend and like dissolve away from this contract right and they were almost trying to keep another you in this infinite multiverse that would be stuck in that lower plane of consciousness and you decided to exit out of that continuum anyway as they were holding you hostage you shouted right it was almost like this prayer that was coming out from you and you said you said i wipe you from my third eye i erase you and free myself okay and as you said that like the karmic contracts dissolved so there's something about like you erasing this person from your third eye it's like you really see something for what it is you're no longer looking at circumstances from perceptions point of view you're actually looking at it from a perspective point of view from a higher plane of consciousness and you're realizing that you'll see you see the situation for what it is you see the person for what it is that they are and anyway um there was something after that where you got you went out of that situation and there was a picture on a pyramid and pyramids signify like you overcoming obstacles and major challenges in your life and um good times heading your way and it also shows that you will succeed in matters to not give up and keep persevering the spiritual aspect of pyramids are one of great strength as well it shows that there's a special energy to the pyramids it holds power within the shape itself so there's something about like it, even with like pyramids again it's all mysterious you know you don't it's beyond our human comprehension of how they really were placed there um and the reason being so there's something that's almost like beyond your hum human comprehension during this time but you're able to 
follow like your heart's desires and the universe is going to reveal its secrets to you along the way okay now it gets a whole lot lighthearted and this is about you like overcoming those obstacles and now we're tapping into the future energy so Virgos, in this scene, um, there was like a famous movie star and he wasn't anyone that I recognized personally in the like three dimensional realm, but there's something about like this person was super well known. I don't know if you really knew them like that, but there's something about like them being really respected, like a big emperor energy or archetype. It doesn't matter if you're feminine or masculine, it's just the archetype, someone that's very established in their career or well known and there was a kissing scene so you were an actress they were an actor um you were just on a scene together and this person sent you a note and they were saying that they wanted to get to know you better and wanted to take you on holiday for like an extended trip away after this story was going to play out and um you know these little contracts were kind of being fulfilled and all the loose ends were being tied up in regards to you know when you're on film um or you're on set like you know you need to fulfill the contract before you can actually step into the new like story of your life so there's something of that that's going on the 14th to 15th could be super significant because that's the date that they were talking about and i was thinking about valentine's earlier is on the 14th i think so yeah anyway there was a lot of kissing like a lot of kissing so i'm gonna go ahead and tell you what the, that means in the astral realm so kissing on the lips indicates that you'll be involved with a new lover and this is going to be a time of good like prosperity and there was a little french kissing which um indicates that there's new love coming your way and it also shows a strong sense of bonding and a significant connection um that's um coming into your waking life it also shows a spiritual bond that's happening between you and someone and it also shows again you having a spiritual connection to somebody and in the physical realm it shows like neurological pathways that are helping you feel pleasure and avoid pain so it almost shows, you know, what are you trying to free yourself when it comes to pain that you're feeling and trying to almost like replace that with pleasure because there's something around like when this person comes in, you may feel like you've healed from your past circumstances or situations, but this is just going to be the, like almost the beginning of being able to put what it is that you like to practice, right? It's almost like all those old feelings are going to be perched upon the surface um so that you really can release them to fully receive this new contract with open arms so actors symbolize your desire to be um somewhere else or escape from your current circumstance so there's almost like a part of you that really wants to exit from this in-between worlds phase where you're releasing the old paradigm and that's dissolving away and you're about to step into like this new character that you're playing in your life and it also shows again like this storybook of life and wanting to fulfill some kind of dream and the fact that you um kiss the actor as well again it shows how you assert yourself in social context that could be changing the tv um shows that um you will recognize your own accomplishments because you were acting on it it also shows that you're playing a part in the storybook in life that will clearly limit your development to be able to make firm and successful decisions so there's something about something that's going on there that is almost like allowing you to realize that there's undeveloped underdeveloped qualities within yourself that need to be unlocked to be able to unlock your full potential and i feel like this person's going to help you do that and the fact that you're an actress it shows that you have unrecognized parts of your own character which must be discovered so again there's almost like parts of yourself that have been suppressed that are going to be coming up to the surface to help you reinvent yourself I'm going to go ahead and get back to this after I read this quote because it's coming up. So reinventing yourself is not about creating a version of you that's fake, short-lived or a fantasy. It's about bringing a version of you to the surface that's always been there, always wanted to come out, but the fear of judgment and opinions from others kept it buried. Free yourself. So again, a lot of you are going to be able to free yourself with this um, circumstance. Now, in essence, being on camera dreams that you... It, um, dream camera dream symbolize the way that you present yourself outwardly into the world and almost like this psychological impact um of being exposed to others so again there's almost like this level of vulnerability that you've always wanted to show to another person especially at a sore level which i'm about to talk about but maybe you felt like it was unsafe to do so in the past maybe you felt like you weren't able to resonate with somebody in that way um so that's kind of like playing in to the story um and again when you were kissing like you both forgot about the cameras like you weren't even concerned about the cameras there was just like general um general genuine chemistry that was there so instead of like capturing 
just like a movie scene that were capturing a genuine moment between two lovers and both of you had stripped back the egos and as you were gazing into each other's eyes it was like you were staring into each other's souls and you realized that you know it's just two fragmented like pieces that were just becoming whole again and it's almost like that unity and it was there, there was this incredible comfortability that you were feeling within each other's bond there was insane chemistry and it didn't matter if the cameras were rolling or not because you guys were just going to continue vibing and then he said that he felt like he knew you on more of an intimate basis. So there's something about like, as you have these heart to heart felt conversations and you allow yourself to start to become vulnerable and open and almost like expose that celestial light body uh, to this individual, it's like you start to create this sacred bond with them. And you also realize that despite this person's role in life or like, you know, how established they are, they're super down to earth. And especially compared to like other celebrities or people that are just lost within their egos. And this person disappeared for a little bit and you ended up going to a um supermarket and at the supermarket there was this st like story that you were watching of somebody else and she was being sold like this lip gloss or like lip like product i guess and it was made from um pearls that's what the like salesman was saying so he was like it was made from pearls and they said it would make them super soft and it would be long lasting a little bit goes a long way and precious stones and gems are messages about discovering increased self-worth it also means that you are opening yourself up which will lead to greater fulfillment it also is associated with a c and it's a message that you can relate to potential or what can be retrieved from your inner depths and again it being on the lips is almost like long lasting beauty so what I want to talk about here before I get on to the rest of the messages is pearls um, really are formed from a parasite entering into the oyster. So something that seems like it's of little substance or little value can be transformed and transmuted and alchemized into something of great value. And the oyster creates almost like this film around the parasite and it begins to transform it from the inside out so it's almost like some kind of soul contract that was you know placed on your path to attempt to deplete your view from your resources mentally emotionally physically spiritually financially and any kind of um, asset of life that this could be taxing to you in regards to it's like you were able to say thank you for the tragedy I needed it for you know my art to be able to understand that my life is a masterpiece and work in progress at the same time and I can make the best out of um, a situation that seems like it's unfortunate I can actually benefit from what seems to be a momentary crisis especially when it comes to the long term to make something that is again again something that is of great value and that's really just the experience right it's releasing the character of the parasite that entered into the oyster and releasing the story that played out where it tried to deplete you from your resources and energetically right and then just bringing forward the lesson almost like bringing forward the pearl and actually seeing it from the essence of what it is as you gain perspective and you take out the perception of um, being emotionally almost like clouded right in this situation where it's like oh this person just tried to take to me take from me again it's not becoming wounded or a victim it's just becoming wiser so yeah there's a lot that's going on there now there was also again stories about actors there was something different about you that had this um romance blossom and there was also the agent at the supermarket as well and um then you were at a party with this same actor and they he basically had like these note cards that were being revealed and he it was saying on the note cards something about he felt super secure and stable with you and comfortable and you were able to read his thoughts and feelings which is interesting I feel like when you meet this person there's almost this like um, telepathic connection that you're gonna have and it allows you to know that you're on the same like you know I don't want to say like wave of consciousness but the same level of consciousness um because really when you elevate you can really communicate telepathically with people i don't know if anyone else has experienced that but yeah you can that's how the divine actually speaks um anyway you were having fun and at the um in the party scene there was like other people that were like wanting to get to know this person other girls wanting to take a photo with them and there's just something about you like that they again 
they cleared out the background noise it's like once they make eye contact with you it's just game over like they have eyes only for you and it kind of kind of remind me of like the emperor right i called it kissing an emperor a gentle giant behind the closed doors they wanted to show you a different side to them that not many get to see and they asked you like again are you okay if i go with going away with me you know when this scene is done and over with and you pause for a moment and you were thinking to yourself you were like well what is it about me that makes them attracted like to me like what is it about me that calls this person in and there's something beyond your human comprehension when it comes to this person just being magnetized by you and you paused for a moment and you saw his reaction and you could tell that he was slightly concerned about you rejecting him in some kind of way or turning his offer down and then once you answered and you were like okay yes and he was totally relieved so it allowed you to see that this person really does value your opinion they really do value you and your time and they really see it as a blessing to be in your presence so yeah that's pretty much what was going on there i think that was uh all the main notes I wanted to say so with that being said let's go ahead and open this reading up i think we're gonna open it up with the tarot and see what's going on we also have the emperor here at the base okay for my virgos please spread let's go ahead and see what's going on with this cycle what's going on with this astral travel trip that we had what do Virgos need to know right now? And again, there's something about like you'd rather be criticized by a wise person than praised by fools. A lot of you are realizing that you don't really care about what other people have to say or think or what they could be projecting upon you during this time. There's just something around like you outgrowing a lot of these authority like figures like there's something around that like even though it could be a difference in like earth age it's like you're realizing that the soul is infinite right it's timeless okay let's see what's going on here for virgo's peace spirit Hierophant there in the middle. It's like you're really assessing what kind of person you'd want to commit yourself to, what kind of circumstance you'd be open when it comes to that high level commitment or contract. Because there we have, again, is it in alignment with your purpose and legacy? Okay. A lot of you are asking yourself that. You know, you're wanting to actually close out those ancestral patterns and um, almost like trauma and really just putting that to an end in some ways. And it kind of reminds me of judgment in a way because it's almost like have you understood in this lifetime your innermost needs and desires you know and are you willing to actually explore those aspirations and take inspired action on that you know because there's something about staying true to your dreams with this not falling out of alignment with your vision ten of cups again keeping your eye on the prize keeping your eye on happiness during this time a lot of you focusing on what it is that will bring you some kind of emotional fulfillment and it, it like exploring those innermost needs and desires let's clarify what's this uh ten of coins spirit what's this ten of coins and actually you know if i'm looking at this in terms of archetypes there could be someone coming in like a knight of cups offering you some kind of love offer of some kind where they are willing to put their heart on their sleeve and be open and vulnerable with you the knight of cups is someone that is very very compassionate because he's explored the deeper steps of you know his ocean so he's ready to explore that unknown territory and you know when it comes to other people and also he knows that in order to explore anything that's worth exploring in this lifetime you have to allow yourself to go deep you know you're not going to be able to reach this completion point and create an abundant life for yourself ten of coins if you play it safe and just you know stay up on the surface that's where your happiness resides it's on the other side from what you have once experienced from what you have once done before or allowed yourself to do before you know 
but it's like you weren't meant to in the old paradigm it's like you're supposed to be able to do that as you elevate emperor again an emperor is coming in that's going to help you kissing an emperor there let's go ahead and take a look at this knight of cups word of fortune it's destined again we have judgment there coming up to you again something that is repressed or suppressed almost within the psyche of your own mind when it comes to going through soul review and making sure that you did everything that you needed to in this lifetime and you know the part of you virgo is it's all about experiencing this next cycle especially after releasing like karmic ties from the base here let's go ahead and clarify that ten of cups real quick eight of swords and seven of um, wands are you going to open up though you know there's almost a part of you that may feel standoffish um there could be a part of you it's a good look we have emperor again Wood of Fortune, Eight of Swords. Like someone is coming in and this is about karmic cycles, the Wheel of Fortune, and you being able to experience that from a higher octave. But are you going to self-sabotage yourself from that? Are you going to block yourself mentally from your own happiness? Because Ten of Cups is all about, all about abundance. You know, you've got Ten of Coins and Ten of Cups. It's about wealth in life. The universe is all abundant. The only lack that really exists is within your own mind. And again, this could be the part of you that goes in the dream where you're like, but why me? You know, what is it about me? You may feel like this person's way out of your league or, you know, there's just something that makes you question or doubt yourself. And it's knowing that you, that's a reason why you may block yourself because of like insecurities or being afraid to be open and vulnerable and expose yourself. Look, we have the lovers right behind that when it comes to a love connection, right? The Garden of Eden. Now you know better, you can do better. You know, you can step into new experiences and not compromise your belief systems or your values or your standards at that. You know, some of you could have been doing that and realizing, thinking if you're going to find the right one by doing that. You know, there's just something around someone is coming in that is the emperor the most reliable archetype he's the one that you can rely on um it's an archetype that is going to align their actions with what it is that they say they're very driven and ambitious and when they say they're going to do something they mean it so again it's almost like a destined change is coming in and if the emperor is willing to wear his heart on his sleeve look at these archetypes you know the knight of cups again it's side of them that's not seen by many you know it's only seen by very limited few and the emperor wants to show you his heart you know an emperor wants to show you her heart doesn't matter what archetype you um sex you are it's just the archetypes and again ace of coins here at the base look ten of uh, swords i didn't even pick up there on the side again is it like the past betrayals or hurt um you know circumstances that you are almost like trying to protect yourself from happening again you know an ace of coins like someone coming in and wanting to offer you some kind of stable new beginning an opportunity to wipe the slate clean and start afresh that two aces and a decision look at this ace of cups a love offer ace of swords a reset when it comes to your mind gaining clarity and insight in regards to you could be the only thing that is keeping yourself from making a decision the two of swords has to in inevitably make a decision in the end she just needs her head to accept what her heart already knows and there's something around like your heart knows like at a soul level right that you want to experience um something on the other side of one of these decisions that you haven't allowed yourself to experience before or haven't got the opportunity to experience before and now it comes up in the future and you guys are in your head it's like again you're weighing out your intellect and your emotions you're trying to rationalize your feelings with logic in some kind of way but there's a reason or need to get out of your head when this comes up and get in the moment because you could overthink yourself into being a prisoner of your own mind right and that's the whole point of like is it because of pain that's turned into anger right or can that be transmuted into 
something of value, something of little substance into great value. You know, especially with the judgment, like again, fulfilling the soul's calling, feeling this yearning, what is suppressed or repressed within you that needs to come to the surface? What do you need to release in order to be able to receive this new beginning with open arms? Again, two of swords. Maybe you're trying to weigh out the pros and cons of the mind versus the heart because we have the emotions versus the intellect here. But don't you know that the mind and emotions are actually interlinked? So once you change the way that you think, you change the way that you feel, which changes the way that you vibrate and what it is that you attract. Once you change the way that you see the world, the world that you change, the, way, the world that you see changes. So there's something around that, like your perception and then bringing it back into perspective, like bringing yourself back into the state of the observer. Like what if I did play this character and live this life and play out this continuum, what would that look like? king of wands being very selective of what it is that aligns with your bigger goal in life hermit bringing your past experiences forward and allowing the wisdom to illuminate the path for you you don't know how, exactly how the story is going to unfold but you do have an idea when it comes to your end goal and what it is that you're trying to get towards page of cups you need to stay true to your vision when it comes to that follow the synchronicities follow your intuition with the page of cups Again, fulfilling that dream that you have that you can see within your mind's eye. Knowing that you can make decisions in people and circumstances. That allow you to align towards that physical, right? King of Wands mastering the physical realm. The physical reality that you want. see if anything significant um shows up in the timing cards we have on a holiday so maybe this is gonna happen when you get away maybe this is when you just go mia as well and just focus on you know enjoying life and living life to the fullest there you know there's something around you getting away somewhere warm when you're feeling like you're putting yourself out in the cold so there could be something around like five of coins like feeling like you're wanting more from life and then being able to immerse yourself in that frame vibration -y, right where you're just in a state of you know pure bliss in some ways but again on a holiday like this person was wanting to invite you away somewhere so again that could be significant Maybe this is from different backgrounds, from places, foreign lands, something of a dis at a distance. Let's take a look at a love oracle message. Very soon was there as well. You deserve love. You are lovable. So again, some of you could be questioning yourself here, Virgos. You are lovable at the base. We have released your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So again, you deserve new love with whatever this is. This is the archer as well. So it's almost like you're seeing opportunity here and you're keeping your eye on where it is that you're trying to aim towards. You know, you're keeping your sight on the trajectory in life and what it is that you want to connect with in some kind of way. Let's go ahead and take a look at a Charmin's Dream Oracle message. Since it was an astral trip, you know, it's only right. Was that dragonfly come out um, previously when I was recording? So there's something about like the change coming from within for you guys. We have in the hand, the universe is your partner. So let's go ahead and read the universe is your partner. Number 31. So in the hand, feeling secure, taking care of the universe is your partner. Something amazing happens when you contemplate your intimate relationship with your higher power. How do you engage it? Perhaps you have seen things through the influence of your religious background, or you may have been exposed to other ways of making that connection real for you. It doesn't matter the source of your understanding. What matters is what works for you. For example, if you believe in a punitive God, you will be afraid of punishment for your transgressions. If you believe in a version of a higher power that blesses you, you may find it easier to surrender to a relationship of radical tr trust. Right now, if you imagine relaxing curled up in the hand of the divine, what does that make you feel? 
Can you turn? Can you then turn over your needs and desires to that divine power and trust that you're safe and secure and don't have to do anything at all to feel that way? Grace is activated in your life right now. You're in good hands, your work, family, relationships, home, everything. You've done it all you can, so now is the time to rest and recharge instead of producing, doing, acting, strategizing. A hot tea, a good book, a soft blanket are in order. So again, this is really connecting with the unconditional love of the creator, of the divine, of God, you know, whatever your um, terminologies are. It's like knowing that you can connect to that unconditional love, right? To that infinite source. Because you're never really going to experience like unconditional love in a finite experience, right? The unconditional is the infinite and the universe is infinite. So it's almost like you're experiencing a little piece of that unconditional love as you meet this next partner because it's fragmented pieces, you know, it's like separated pieces of the soul of the that come from the whole, you know, it's almost that kind of energy. So you can almost get a taste of what is and what always has been and what always will be, you know, it's almost like that kind of energy coming in. But in order to be able to experience that externally, you have to experience it within first. It's like the change must come from within for you, Virgos, because again, it's about your connection to source and a higher power with whatever this is. Heart with a key. Welcome and love, meeting the one, open your heart, getting together perfect. Came out with a mask as well, not showing your true feelings. Again, there could be a part of you, even with mask, it kind of reminds you of the play that could be playing out in your life. Like maybe if you're like, you have a look around your heart and it's, you only want to open it to the right person, you know, again, it could be the soulmate, like the only key that fits in there, but the key that opens up all looks is going to be the universal key, which is going to be your own mind. And again, as you think you vibrate, as you vibrate, you attract, you're going to be attracting in exactly what it is that you're vibrating at. So if you're closed off or standoffish or you're not trusting, um, or open or receptive to new opportunities or people, then you're going to attract somebody that is on that same vibratory rate as you. Someone that also will not disclose their feelings to you. Someone that also will hide behind a mask. You know, there's something around that, again, not showing true feelings and someone does want to show that to you and they were inside of a box. And you may feel like, you know, that being projected, that if somebody opens up your box of your true feelings, like that comes in it may be opening up like pandora's box but even if all your past like karmic circumstances and everything gets brought up to the surface and you just allow yourself to release and surrender to the feelings of what it is that you've come here on earth to experience you know what is at the bottom of pandora's box when everything is unleashed out there into the world and it's shown and it's no longer oppressed or suppressed is hope there's hope at the bottom of that box So, Virgos, I think we're going to leave the reading there. But again, a lot of you are gaining clarity when it comes to judgment, right? What it is that you actually need to release and bring to the surface and actually, again, release to receive, you know, when it comes to a new beginning and how you choose to view that. You're gaining clarity when it comes to your soul's calling, what it is that you're being called to do in this next step of stage of your journey, shall we say. So Virgos, I wish you the very best of luck with whatever it is you're going through. Again, horned cactus at the base. There could be like a mishy inside that you're trying to protect with those spikes on the outside right now. Kind of caught my eye. But yeah, I hope that you um, gain all the clarity or insight that you needed during this time from this reading. Take a look at your other Virgo readings on my second channel. That's going to be linked in the description box down below. That's why I do your weekly reads. And uh, if you're not already subscribed to this channel and want to stick around for future reads, you consider subscribing. But until next time, Virgos, bye.